Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here, and today we're celebrating another milestone on the channel. We have just hit the 800 subscriber mark. Every time I do one of these um, milestone videos, I keep thinking, this channel has gotten just about as big as it's ever going to get. But you guys keep surprising me. You know, almost every day I'm seeing another subscriber, another two subscribers, and this channel is steadily growing. In fact, I think it's growing faster now than it ever has before. And, you know, for someone who doesn't really put himself out there, like a lot of these other fishing YouTubers do, in terms of trying to get views and get subscribers, uh, I think that's absolutely astounding that we've come as far as we have. And I have each and every one of you to thank for that. And you should all be very proud of what we've all built together. As happy and as grateful as I am that we're up to 800 subscribers, I don't measure the success of the channel based on how many subscribers there are. I measure it with the, uh, just the, the overall health and quality of the community. And having seen some of the other YouTube communities out there, I think that we have to have one of the best. It's overwhelmingly positive. You guys are interacting with me a lot. You guys are interacting with each other a lot. I see you guys having conversations in the comments without any input at all from me. And I think that's fantastic because in the end, I didn't just want to make a place where you could just watch videos of me fishing, being an idiot. Uh, I wanted to make an actual community where people could come together and share the, the love of fishing in the outdoors. And I would have to say mission accomplished, you know, 800 of you agree. And I, I really couldn't be happier with, with the state of the channel at this point. Normally, I like to include some clips in the uh, milestone videos that I do. Unfortunately, I don't have any ready today. You guys have been signing on so fast, I really haven't had time to prepare anything. Um, you know, and I'll admit that this milestone kind of crept up on me. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't have any clips today, but uh, I do have something. I decided that I'm going to tell you guys a little story. I'm going to tell you about the first largemouth bass that I ever caught. This wasn't the first fish I'd ever caught. The first fish I ever caught was a bluegill, but I don't remember it. And the only reason I know it was a bluegill was because my dad told me. Um, but this is my first largemouth bass, and this is the first fish that I clearly remember catching. Uh, so it's got a kind of a special place in my memory. So, let's go back to the year 1986. My dad and I were fishing at Long Pond in Pennsylvania. Our family used to have a cabin on the lake, uh, so we would go up there a lot and go fishing. And uh, we were out in the boat uh, across the way after dinner. And um, unbeknownst to me, uh, before we had gone out that evening, my dad had gone out previously that day and uh, marked some largemouth bass. This was during the spawn, so there were a few fish on beds. And uh, he marked this one fish in this cove that was on a bed. And uh, after dinner, we both went out in the boat, and uh, he gave me an old junky rod uh, with a Mitchell 300 reel on it. Now, I'm sure a lot of you older guys probably remember the old Mitchell 300s were not reversible. You were stuck with the right-handed retrieve. And back when I was four years old in 1986, I was already very firmly a left-hander. So using that reel was, was kind of a chore for me, but uh, that was really the best thing that we had available. And you know what? I was four, I was fishing with my dad, I wasn't going to complain. So my dad ties on a hook. Um, he puts a night crawler on it and he casts it out and makes sure the night crawler is sitting right on the bed where this bass is. And he hands me the rod and he just watches this fish to, to see if it picks up the bait. And you know what? Eventually it does. So he tells me to, to set the hook and reel in and I start fighting the fish and my dad's going crazy and I'm going crazy and the fish is going crazy jumping out of the water. So we finally get this fish in the net, and it's maybe about a 15 inch large mouth. So figure two pounds, give or take. And boy was my dad excited. He was hollering and just jumping, well not jumping around because we were in the middle of a lake in a boat, but he was super duper excited. And that got me excited too. Um, 
So we decided we were going to take the fish back to the cabin across the lake and get some pictures with it. Um, so we got the pictures and after that my dad asked me if I wanted to have the fish mounted. And of course I was super excited and I said yes, yes I want it mounted. Now I, I realized that this was during the spawn. We had just caught this fish off of a nest. Um, so keeping it wasn't really ethical, uh, nor was it technically legal, but you have to understand something about my dad. He is the kind of person who would gladly risk fines and potential loss of fishing privileges for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in order to give his son a lasting memory. Um, he, he taught me about catch and release and conservation later and, you know, I did become a, a staunch proponent of catch and release, which I still am today. Um, but in this moment, he wanted to give me a lasting memory. And you know what? It worked. Because 31 years later, I still have that fish. It's, it's dusty, it's, it's had its share of, of wear and tear, um, but I look at this and I am four years old again. And I remember that moment when I became a fisherman. So this represents, this represents so much in my life because fishing has just been such a huge part of my life. You know, it, it, without this fish, without this moment, um, this, this YouTube channel certainly wouldn't exist. You wouldn't be watching this right now. And my life would be so radically different than it is now. I, I can't even imagine what my life would have been like if I did not catch this fish. So that's it. If you're, if you're wondering about the origins of Lord Almighty and where he got his start, that's how it happened, you know, on a, on a small lake in Pennsylvania, uh, fishing with my dad, you know, as it has happened for so many other people. And every time I look at this fish hanging on the wall, it, uh, it just reminds me how fortunate I've been to become an angler and to have that in my life because it has enriched me in so many different ways. It has taught me things that you can't learn in school, you can't learn from your friends. It's just been such a, a unique and fulfilling experience over these past 31 years. And this is the one that started it all. So that's the story of my first bass. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, it was definitely a, uh, a, a turning point in my life. And I'm, uh, I'm happy that I got to share it with you, especially now that there's 800 of you. Again, it's, it's beyond my wildest expectations for what this channel was ever going to be. So thank you all for your continued support. I promise I'm going to be doing more fishing, more videos. Um, so you can all look forward to that. And, uh, you know, hope you guys are having a great fishing season as well. Uh, weather's starting to warm up, even though it's it's been seesawing back and forth between like 90 degrees and 60 degrees for the past month. It's like the weather can't make up its mind. Um, but hopefully that hasn't deterred uh, many of you and you're still getting out and uh, making your own great fishing memories. So again, thank you all so much for 800 subscribers and thank you for making this channel such a wonderful and welcoming community. And I will see you on the next adventure.